filing at Fresno City Hall for a hearing on the state's historic drought. Your grocery bill will be going up because this area produces so much of our food and vegetables and it is so affected by this drought. Things have been dry uh, for months and months and months and California will not open its water reserves due to court order protecting this endangered fish. The Delta smelt. That's why they're not opening up the reserves. Will Carr is live in California with the latest on this. Will? Hi, Jenna. There is a congressional field hearing going on inside right now, and that's why thousands of farmers showed up today to rally and send a direct message to Washington that they need water to survive. What are we looking for? Water! Thousands cry for that precious commodity that everyone in California's Central Valley wants, but few have. Recent storms haven't helped, and alfalfa farmer Michael Erskine says the drought combined with cuts to water deliveries have slashed his bottom line by more than 50%. It's devastating. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, I'll have to sell something. I have to sell probably half of it to maintain the other half. I'm looking at, you know, tens of thousands of people that are going to be out of work. We're going to have probably upwards of five, six, seven hundred thousand acres of farm ground that's going to be out of production. As a result, experts believe retail food prices could jump as much as 3.5 percent this year. You're not going to grow anything with zero water, and so whether it's the lettuce that goes into your In-N-Out burger, or whether it is the tomatoes you use for your salsa, whether it's the nuts that you use for your health food, all of that gets impacted here. That's why so many are rallying to bring attention to the problem as water deliveries dry up. It is true that we're in a drought condition, but it's also true there's a lot of regulations that are hampering water deliveries and really making uh, it tough for the valley. Um, some of them really just don't make a whole lot of sense. And that makes it tough on farmers like Erskine and his son. I don't know what to tell him for a future. Don't be a farmer. Government gets in the way. Farmers that are here today are hoping the Senate will pass a water bill that's already been passed in the House. They also came here today to protest the appeals court decision on the Delta smelt that came down last week that will continue protections for the tiny fish. As you can imagine, Jenna, environmentalists, though, are celebrating that decision. Some good perspective for us, Will, for a very important story out of California that affects us all. Thank you so much.